Hi everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Now this is typically a video which is out of the norm of what I normally do. I have pride myself in trying to create the perfect little classic. Yes classic handbag collection and for the most part i really do a ton of research before adding pieces into my collection however it is perfectly normal to change your style to just discover new pieces or new styles new silhouettes that work better for you and your lifestyle at the moment so for that reason there are a few pieces in my collection which i haven't grabbed in quite some time and to be honest with you rather than just having them sit on my shelves i thought that it would be better to hopefully be able to rehome them now all the details will be in the description box below but the only form of payment that i'm willing to accept is either sell or venmo that's just the easiest for me and honestly what gives me the best peace of mind if you trust me then let's go ahead and make a deal if not then i totally understand that's okay but i have to make sure that i am secured on my end when i go ahead and ship off these pieces hopefully you all can understand that keep in mind the cost already will include secured chipping and then you can let me know if you want it to be signature required or not i know some people work from home so they prefer that method others don't and that's totally okay as well so once we go through the process if you want to choose that extra step then you can go ahead and let me know whatever comes with a box i will have noted in the description box if you have any further questions if you want to see more videos more pictures anything like that you can send me a dm over on instagram or you can email me i'll have my email also on the description box below and i think that's about it so let's go ahead and get into the first two pieces and that's going to be the only sogs which i am selling from my collection at the moment the first one is going to be this valentino card holder now this card holder i think i used it once i probably used it for about two weeks and then i've never used it again why i honestly don't know why i mean it's a perfect little card holder it actually has a good amount of card slots three in the front three in the back and a little zippered compartment i just think that i gravitated to other card holders in my collection rather than this one so since i haven't used it in such a long time i just thought that i would officially part ways with it it is in this very classic pink sort of valentino color and the only wear that this piece really has is sort of like a dry small 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 little patch in the front part i'll try to insert clips as best as i can but honestly like you can rarely tell that it's there i just obviously analyzed it very very well in order to be able to share with you guys if it did have any sort of marks or wear the interior is perfectly clean it has no stains whatsoever simply because i never used coins or bills in there if you have been following me for a little bit you guys know i rarely carry cash so i never used it for that and besides that it looks perfect it does have a little bit of chipping here on the hardware of the zipper so i'll make sure to insert close-ups of that this one will come with its box and its dust bag so as you can see the box is right here the beautiful red valentino box and then it does have the tiny little dust bag basically everything else that it came with these are like the little cards that they insert on the slots when you do purchase them it has the ribbons so pretty much a full set moving on to the next slg and that is going to be my ysl cassandra wallet it is kind of like very very similar to the lv rosalie i have various videos on all of these pieces so whatever i can go ahead and link i'll leave it in the description box below as well in case you guys want to do a little bit more research on each piece but this little wallet is super compact. You can actually even transform it into a cute little crossbody if you wanted to. It fits a good amount, like even a lip gloss can fit in here if you wanted to take it out as a little night bag. And it has a lot of space to put like cards. So you do have a total of four card slots inside. Then you have a really nice open compartment in case you wanna carry bills or if you wanna throw some coins in there. And my favorite part is the little slip pocket on the back that it does have which is very convenient in case you want to put like your id and your credit card of choice condition wise pristine i mean almost like new this is in the color taupe from ysl so did want to point that out now the only issue that i did see is that it did have a pop stitch on the back area so again i'll go ahead and insert a clip but it just had a little pop stitch there 
And what I went ahead and did was I just cut it just so that it wasn't hanging and make it get caught into something else. So of course I wanted to let you guys know because I wanna make sure that you know what it is that you're getting as in if you decide to purchase any of these pieces. Hardware has very, very fine hairline scratches on the hardware. That's, I mean, that's hardware wear for any piece that has any sort of, you know, hardware on it. But other than that, there's no chipping or anything on the YSL hardware. And then this one does come with its box. As you can see here, it is the box that that specific piece came in. And then it does have a little dust bag as well that it comes. Okay, moving on to the big boys. The first one is going to be my Polen number seven. And this one here is in the color camel for obvious reasons and the color. I just feel like whenever I'm gonna gravitate towards this bag, if I'm going more of the dressy route, I'm going to grab my Birkin and if I'm going more of like a casual kind of route I'm most likely going to grab my Kuyana tote which I have also done videos on and I absolutely love just because I also own this particular style in a different color so I'd rather keep the other color she's actually right here the green than just continuing to pile up more of these camel colored bags now don't judge me in the future when I share another camel bag because that's just naturally going to come but anyways back to this one condition is absolutely I mean almost like new the only wear that she does have is on one of the corners I'll make sure to insert a picture and a video it's just basically like a little bit of rubbing but it's not anything too too crazy in my opinion she doesn't have feet on the bottom but the fact that it is kind of styled in a way where these pieces come out lower than the body of the bag that ultimately helps it not rub the bottom part on the floor if you need to place it on the floor i don't think i've ever placed this bag on the floor but just wanted to point that out the top handle is removable so you could remove the top handle if you wanted to and then the opening clasp here just has really fine hairline scratches as you can imagine any hardware would once you get inside this was another little issue that i did come across i'll get into it but let me just show you what the interior looks like it is perfectly in great condition no kind of like dirt or anything like that now here's where the most wear comes from and that's in here I'm assuming that it must have been something that rubbed against this back pocket and I really can't pinpoint what it was but you can see that it kind of has like rubbing against the suede lining of that pocket there and then it kind of looks like if it's dirty but it's not it's just basically that something rubbed on there and it kind of like just removed the suede part of the pocket in a sense so again just wanted to point that out it does have a D-ring in the interior and then the crossbody strap is non-removable but adjustable. Keep in mind that depending how you store it, it can pop out like it does right here. I tend to curl her just so that it doesn't pop out this way but after I took pictures and things like that last week, I just placed her back on my shelf. Didn't curl the strap and therefore you can see how I had it kind of like um, stored. It made the strap pop out a little bit. You can also go ahead and then once you, you know, remove it and kind of adjust it, you can put a little scrunchie there just so that it stays put like this and you should be good to go it is leather so it's very malleable it'll definitely get back to being completely fine aside from that glazing again no issues nowhere everything looks really good no pop stitches or anything like that so yeah again this one will come with a dust bag no box okay moving on to honestly a bag that i thought i would never get rid of but I just haven't used it in so long. So I think it's her time to go. And this is my Burberry Derby tote. This is in the size small. Now, when I got this bag, I loved her. I could not put her down. I mean, I still do, but as I said, I just haven't gravitated to her. I personally love this style of handbag. It's a top handle. It does have a crossbody strap, also adjustable. 
and even though it's sort of a thin strap it's very comfortable to wear you can always interchange it for any other strap if you wanted to the interior is just a wide open space it does have a zippered pocket in the back and two slip pockets in the front and then the closure is a little like magnetic clasp closure as you can see here let me show you again there you go then on the sides you do have the beautiful sort of like Burberry detail this is in a canvas material and the rest of the bag is in a fully grained leather it is navy I hope it's coming across correctly but it is a navy color besides that everything looks excellent there's no glazing issues no corner wear surprisingly because as I said I did use this bag quite a little bit when I got her so she is a very durable baby and then the bottom you do have four feet right there also comes with dust bag and the price for this one will be six hundred dollars all right now this next one i've kind of been contemplating back and forth i will be pretty strict on the price just because as i said if i don't sell it then i'm totally fine with it it's okay i can keep it in my collection but that is going to be my aria belt bag and if you guys have been here you probably know the reason why and it's just the fact of the embossing of this particular piece i think it's very elegant but at the same time it limits me and i sort of get scared to pair it with outfits from time to time it just didn't work out the way i wanted to because of the embossed leather that i chose so this is sen revs dragon embossed leather it's more or less the same thing as like a crocodile embossed leather as you can see it's very shiny however it is a stunning piece she fits a very good amount i have videos on it sharing what fits inside the interior is this beautiful sort of like pale blue suede interior she does come with a crossbody strap and she also comes with a chain that was gifted with purchase or something like that so i'll make sure to include a picture of that as well and then as per wear in this piece i mean I think I've used her probably a handful of times, if that. So the wearer is absolutely incredible. I would go as far as saying that she basically looks like new. All right, <laughs> the last one. So I have been going back and forth with this one. Again, it's gonna be one of those that I'm going to be pretty strict on price. And that is going to be, oh my gosh. I know, I know, I'm still kind of shocked, but here we go my louis vuitton alma i was gonna say my louis vuitton never fool this one is in the mm size it is in the monogram canvas as you can see now this piece i want to say is from 2011 2011 or 2012 i'll make sure to find the correct details and leave them in the description box below this one did come with the pouch however i sold off that pouch so it's not going to be included in this particular piece it has for me, a beautiful golden honey patina. Obviously, it's had a couple of years on her. And then there's also kind of like, it's like a scratch to be honest with you on the leather piece here. I'm assuming that must have happened with something that scratched it. I wouldn't even be able to know what to tell you that it was. There is wear on everything that is the leather. I mean, I've had her for quite some time. I used her quite a lot as well. However, the canvas looks perfect. There's no cracking, there's no wear, there's no holes or anything like that on the canvas. The stitching on the side, and I mean, maybe if you know a little bit more, you can also point out, but it does have the stitching and then just in random little places, it'll just have like lighter kind of like stitching details. So again, I'll make sure to insert as many clips as I possibly can. Here, I wanted to share with you guys the little side um, toggles. I'm not sure what the name of these pieces are, but overall, the leather around the handbag just has very dry patches from piece to piece. You can definitely see it here on this video. And I'm sure that if you go ahead and do a little bit of leather conditioning or something, you can definitely bring it back to life. None of the leather pieces have ever been replaced. The hardware is actually turned into like this champagne gold colored hardware, which I personally prefer. And these little side cinch things, I've never really worn them cinched. I've just cinched them in for video purposes.
Okay, now let's dive into the interior. I typically keep her stuff just so that it can keep her shape, but you could see that there is some sagging on the corners as per the canvas but again there is no cracking on the canvas itself it's just kind of like the sagging due to making sure that you know it doesn't when i stuff her it just doesn't get all the crooks and crannies so that's just pretty much the only sagging that you can see in the interior it looks absolutely perfect there is no smell however there are a couple of marks here which i'll go ahead and again do a close-up video on so there are a few marks there, I believe. They seem to be pencil marks, which I'm sure that they can be removed. Again, I just haven't taken the time to do that. So I do have a great Instagram account that I follow, Javula Sack. He is amazing at sharing like how to care for your bags and if they're stained or if they have something. Even the vaqueta parts of handbags and things like that, how you can kind of like moisturize them again and sort of bring them back to life. I'll leave his Instagram handle down below in case you wanna just look into his page just for carrying a bags in particular. I'm sure he shares something that you can do in regards to the little wear that this one has. But it's just been a piece that I've loved. I've really enjoyed using it. All right, guys. So that pretty much does it for this little roundup of a vlog sale. I hope you found something that might interest you. If not, thank you for watching for a little bit of eye candy. As I said, if you are interested in any of these pieces, all of the details will be linked down below. I will go ahead and put the videos within the corresponding pieces that I mentioned. Let me know if you wanna see pictures, if you wanna see videos of the pieces on me. If you wanna see any other pieces of the wear that I did mention, I'll be more than happy to send any of that over to you. Now, I do appreciate you taking some time out of your day to watch today, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.